Welcome to another Gleaner podcast. My name is Garfield Grandison. I'm the editor of the Gleaner. And I have with me today pollster Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson has been doing um, polling for over 35 years. He has worked in North America, Europe, and the Caribbean. He has been doing a series of readership uh, surveys for the Gleaner. He has been doing this for the last four or so years. And today he has just returned from the field and we'll get from him to, um, today in this series what really, Bill Johnson, are some of the benefits of advertising in the Gleaner products. You have done a lot of surveys for us. Clearly, uh, you must have some feel as to why should advertisers place their ads in the Gleaner products. Well, I think the main reason, Garfield, is that the Gleaner is considered the most credible source of news or media, certainly in Jamaica. By a wide margin, people say that what they see in the Gleaner is more truthful and more credible than what they see anyplace else. The other thing is that contrary to what's happening in most other parts of the world, in Jamaica the Gleaner's readership is growing. It's grown approximately 15 to 20 percent uh, in terms of the weekday Gleaner from last year to this year. And uh, that's just against the trends uh, that you find in other parts of the world. So that the Gleaner, despite its age, is a viable uh, uh, entity in the market today. From the work you have done, what are some of the reasons why you would say that there is a growth in readership, given what is happening in other places um, 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 in terms of decline in circulation? I think what it is is that newspapers today, Jamaicans are looking uh, for more than news in newspapers. They're looking for information. And the Gleaner is providing this information in terms of its various inserts and sections and columns throughout the week. Uh, it's almost like it's an information paper as well as being a newspaper. And so people turn to it for information such as your latest series on parenting, the issues of parenting. parenting. But they also, when we ask people, where do you uh, look to for information on what or where to purchase things? Uh, by, I mean, 83% of the readers of the Gleaner and the other major newspaper, major morning newspaper, say they turn to the Gleaner. So you would say this is one of the key reasons why you would suggest to advertisers place their ad ads in the Gleaner products? Without question, plus the fact that the Gleaner has a much larger share of the crucial ABC1 uh, uh, socioeconomic group. Uh, if you're looking to uh, reach the very hard to reach Generation Y, the younger people, uh, those 14 to uh, mid-20s, uh, uh, up to early 30s, uh, the star just dominates, absolutely dominates that market. And, uh, and, and any advertiser who's hoping to appeal to this very crucial market is doing it at its utmost peril if they're not, if they don't have a major presence, I feel, in the star. But one would say, uh, given what is happening, um, the, the use of internet uh, and so forth, would want to believe that the younger um, um, real persons would want to go um, to the internet uh, versus uh, a newspaper. So can we talk about a little about the, the value and benefits of advertising, say, in the newspaper, Gleaner products, versus radio and television? Well, when we asked people, interestingly enough, where do you turn to to get information on what and where to purchase things, and gave people the alternative of television, of radio, of the Gleaner, uh, of the other morning newspaper, a significant majority said they turn to the Gleaner. And it's not, I'm not discounting the internet, but I think the Gleaner, people turn to print media for information. And this forms their decision that, yes, I want to buy a widget. And they read up on the widgets in print media. They might, if they want more specific information, 
in terms of where to order one or whatnot, they might, uh, if they have access to the internet, uh, turn to the internet. But don't forget, a lot of people in Jamaica, a lot of young people, have access to the internet, but it's on a very irregular basis. Uh, if you look at penetration of those who actually have uh, internet access in their homes, it's very low compared to other countries. Uh, every young person we know has an email address, <laughs> but a lot of them just check their email messages once a week. I mean, they're not really utilizing the internet for information searches on different products yet. But even still, the newspaper, the Gleaner, plays an incredibly important role in terms of this. Uh, Bill, last time you did a survey for us, uh, you produced what you call the 10 secrets about uh, the Gleaner products. This year, you're, you're just back from the field. What would you say are some of the secrets that you'd want our advertisers and readers to know about? Well, now we have 11 secrets. So, <laughs> <laughs> the, I think the main secret is Children's Own, which has a readership of over 900,000. 25% uh, of Children's Own readers don't read any other print media. And people have the misimpression, I think, that children's own is something that just 10-year-olds look at. 10-year-olds look at it, but their parents look at it, and their grandparents look at it. The readership of children's own is probably 25% of the readership of children's own is in the 10 to 18 group. The rest is in the older groups. And as I say, for many people, this is their only source of print media. And with a reach of over 900,000, uh, as I say, 25% of whom aren't exposed to print media any other way, it's a fantastic advertising vehicle. I'd love to be a cleaner ad salesman selling children's own, because I could retire. I wouldn't have to work after uh, a while. I'll discuss that job for you. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us a little bit about how it was done, your methodology, how the sampling was done? Sure, well, first of all, we interviewed almost 2,100 people throughout the island. Uh, we interviewed people in 130 different communities throughout the island, and uh, basically 16 people in each of these communities. Uh, but to make sure that we had large enough samples in some parishes, we interviewed a minimum of 100 people in each of the parishes. Uh, obviously, in Kingston, St. Andrew, we interviewed significantly more. We interviewed significantly more in St. Catherine. We also interviewed more in uh, Mo Bay, Mandeville, Ocho Rios, and whatnot. But th then everything was weighted back to reflect the official staff and population statistics. We interviewed people age 10 to age 75, although the re results that we report for most of the Gleaner products are just those 14 and older. Uh, Youth Link uh, and Children's Own, we include the results of those 10 to 13. Unlike other media surveys that are done in Jamaica, we interview people over the age of 64. Uh, I personally take offense if a survey eliminates people in my age group. Uh, uh, so that I think the media surveys that we do for the Gleaner are certainly the, uh, the gold standard in terms of media surveys. You wouldn't have anything else. Bill Johnson, the Caribbean's number one pollster. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you for having me.